Hello, amazing parents. Today, let us delve into the intricate world of Christian parenting styles. It is as if we are all artists, each crafting a unique masterpiece with our families. Let us break it down in simpler terms, exploring the many ways we nurture faith in our beloved children. First on our list is the grace-based style. This approach is all about showering our kids with copious amounts of love and forgiveness when they inevitably make mistakes. It is like saying, hey, we all mess up sometimes, but that's okay. In this style, our guidance is driven by love, not by rigid rules. Proverbs 22, 6 encapsulates this philosophy. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. This verse emphasizes the importance of teaching our kids the right path with patience and, above all, a lot of love. Now, moving on to the traditional style. This is like keeping the flame of family traditions burning bright. It involves passing down old family customs, stories and practices through the generations. That verse from Deuteronomy 6, 7 resonates strongly with this style encouraging us to teach our traditions diligently to our children. It is about weaving a tapestry that connects the dots between the past and the present, creating a bridge between generations. The attachment style is our next stop on this parenting journey. This style emphasizes building an unbreakable emotional bond with our little ones. Picture it as constructing a trust bridge between us and them. Proverbs 3, 3, 4 paints a beautiful picture of this emotional connection, saying, Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. The goal here is to create a safe and secure space where our kids can thrive emotionally, all within the warm embrace of our faith. Now, let us talk about free-range parenting. No, it is not about letting your kids roam freely like chickens. Instead, it is about giving them the freedom to explore and make choices, all while under our loving guidance. Proverbs 16, 9 encapsulates this approach. The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. In other words, we guide our kids, but we also give them the freedom to learn from real-life experiences, providing them the space they need to grow and make choices. Regardless of our style as Christian parents, we all come together in prayer, worship, and service. Colossians 3.17 beautifully captures the essence of this unity, urging us to, and whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of of the Lord Jesus. Whether praying together, worshipping as a family, or engaging in acts of service, we do it all with love and gratitude towards God. Now let us take a moment for prayer together. Dear God, as parents, guide us with your love, patience, and wisdom. May your grace be our compass on this parenting journey. Lord, empower us to be examples of kindness empathy and compassion as raise our children in the way that bring glory to you. Amen. Share your thoughts on these different parenting styles in the comments. Which style resonates with you? And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button for more easy to understand insights into Christian parenting. Let us build a vibrant community of parents sharing their unique perspectives because we are not just raising children, we are creating a beautiful tapestry of faith, love, and resilience. God's blessings on our parenting journey.